It's 8 in the morning in the city of San Liurfa. Time for Arish Chadirchi to open up his furniture shop. But before doing that, he heads up to the roof, just as he does every morning. The 56-year-old is expected by 45 pigeons ready for their routine morning flight. Yes, 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 yes. Ari's neighbor is also tending to his birds. There's a dove coat on nearly every roof in San Liurfa's historic district. Pigeon breeder Arif has set up security cameras to protect his precious creatures. They're his pride and joy. Many wear adornments on their feet and feathers. Arif has an eye for special characteristics the untrained eye would fail to spot. The neck and head should be slim. The plumage should be strong and evenly patterned, and the bird's posture should be graceful. When I'm with my birds, any headache or knee pain disappears in an instant. It's like being in another world. I don't notice what's happening in the city below. I become absorbed in this atmosphere. The 2,000-year-old city of San Liurfa is known for the thousands of pigeons which populate its skies. In ancient times, the city's name was Edessa, and it was thought to be the birthplace of the prophet Abraham. The carp are sacred, inhabiting the lake near the cave where he was born. San Liurfa is home to predominantly Kurds and Arabs, and it seems that most of them have caught pigeon fever. The many tea shops in the city host pigeon auctions every evening. Bidding starts at around two euros, but the finest birds can fetch thousands. The goods are carefully inspected and much tea is consumed. A sign lets punters know exchanges are out. Arif is no gambler and isn't convinced by the birds on offer tonight. The most I've ever paid for a bird is about 400 euros. The most expensive birds are the ones that can fly abroad and back, thousands of kilometers from here to Germany or Holland, for example. But pigeon breeding in Turkey isn't always a peaceful pastime. Knives or pistols are drawn during fights over the best birds. That's what brought on the shootings in San Liurfa at the end of April, a fight which left one dead and two injured. The Chadurchis live in a modern block of flats where keeping pigeons on the roof is only allowed if all tenants agree. Arif and his two daughters also use the internet to indulge their hobby. Chadurchi connects with like minded enthusiasts from Germany over Facebook. He's quite besotted with the creatures, but we tell ourselves that when our father's happy, we all benefit. Pigeon breeders must always be near their birds. You can go out and meet friends, but you must be back for feeding times. The birds are waiting for you. Not many young people want that responsibility. So I don't know if the tradition will survive in our family. There are around 10,000 pigeon breeders in San Liurfa alone. The city's bazaar revolves around this pastime. So alongside bright materials and herbs, you can also find all things related to pigeons. It's where Arif Chadirchi purchases jewelry for his beloved creatures. Evening has fallen and Chaduchi is back with his birds. They need to be fed. And he can enjoy some peace and quiet, high above the city. From up here, the birds can soar serenely over the rooftops. For Chaduchi, they're the perfect symbol for his multicultural city.
Love of animals knows no religion or creed. This hobby is shared by Kurds, Turks and Arabs. From pierced feathers to feats of flight, nowhere else are people so passionate about pigeons as in Turkey.